What up? You saw the title? This is Good Bad Mid YouTuber Edition. And what does that mean? Well, that means we're just going to be talking about three different albums that I think are good, bad, and mid that all have something in common. And in this case, it is actually that they're all made by YouTubers. So yeah, let's just get into it and talk about the first section, which is... Starting off today's video, we're gonna be talking about an artist that I was never really that big into growing up, and that was uh, Quadeca. After listening to voice memos and From Me To You back in the day of 2019 and 2021, I was not really impressed, I guess? I mean, I saw the detail he put into like all the visuals and stuff, but like, I don't know, like as an album, I didn't really like either of them. And I know that's like a hot take when it comes to those albums, but yeah, just not my thing, I guess. However, I didn't mean to haunt you completely completely took me by surprise when listening to it for the first time. Today I brought in the third verse to talk deeper about this project. So yeah, here they are uh, in my monitor. Hey guys, so I know that this series is called Good, Mid, and Bad. Um, I'm afraid that my original job, which was uh, to present a good album, I'm not going to be able to do it because the album that I want to talk about is a lot better than good. This album, I Didn't Mean to Haunt You by Quideca, came out in 2022. And Quideca was an artist that I was familiar with before this album, and because I was familiar with them, I was ready to just completely skip this album. It wasn't one that I was going to listen to until I saw everybody talking about it, and it really lived up to the praise that I was hearing. The album is technically very proficient. Sonically, it's extremely unique. The spooky instrumentals that fit the theme of the album are just perfect running all the way through it. Um, and it's a very original and unique sound that complements its very unique story as well. The narrative is extremely compelling. Um, I don't want to spoil it too much uh, cause I do want you, got, you guys to go listen to the album. Um, but some of my favorite moments on this album have to do with how well they tell this story that Quadek is getting across. Um, one of my favorite moments is How Settling, a track that has a Danny Brown feature where Danny Brown is rapping from the perspective of poisonous gas and it just fits his rapping style so well and it's just such a unique way to use a feature. And the rest of the track is just absolutely fantastic as Quadeca does almost all the storytelling on this album. Um, one of my favorite tracks for sure is Fantasy World, which is just such a mellow, peaceful song that really gets hype and it really just intense later as Quadeca makes the decisions that he does. Um, I really like how the story just works with the instrumentals that well on this album throughout the entire thing. Despite how heavy the subject matter is on this album, it never fails to be a fun listen. Like, it's it's about an hour long, but it never feels that long when I listen to it because I just get so caught up in the story, and I really just want more albums like this from Kudeka in the future. Every track is essential to the narrative of the album, and just brings something new to the table both sonically and conceptually. It just feels like there were no shortcuts taken on this album. Um, it all just comes together so well. I think the album has cemented Quideca as a legitimate artist in the wider field of music, not just as a YouTuber or as a rapper, but as a respectable artist of all kinds of genres that he blends on this project. And this really makes me look forward to what we're gonna get next. Um, I know he's releasing some singles. I think there's an album coming out. Um, I haven't listened to any of it because I'm just waiting for a full album or something, but this this album has really just blown me away and made me really impressed with what he's able to do artistically. Overall, the album is just really well thought out. It has something original to say, and it's just incredibly well put together. So thank you so much for letting me talk about this, and now I'm gonna toss it back to you. That's what the mask is! I think you're a faggot. To whoever wants to hear is the debut EP from the Minecraft Global Sensation Dream. This is seven tracks of absolutely nothing. Just like nothing. Like there's just no substance here. Like I'm not even gonna like sugarcoat it really. Like we see Dream just taking an emotionless shot at a rock pop and like kind of break core sound that just feels like the audio equivalent of like a, I don't know, like the straight face emoji. This project is clearly a heartless cash brag for Dream as he can easily just profit off the hate that he receives because 
because you know he has like babies as fans and this video is probably like enabling that more but i mean <laughs> that's fine i guess starting off with the song slow down this is a generic pop song that is about well you guessed it a uh, slowing down and just enjoying your life all of this is literally like uh who who cares like this is just like nothing nothing like i said earlier nothing i'm, I, I'm not even sugarcoating it again this is just nothing the kicker of the song for me is that a guy that produces for ariana grande has credit for the horrible sound of this song in fact literally every single producer on this project is straight from the music industry andrew goldstein rushell Soli, will aaron and y2k all have a major placements in the industry like Soli producing literally half of planet her by doja cat big like that's that's kind of a feat like like why are you even doing this no money i already know that i would say i can't believe that people fell for like the legitness and like sincereness of this project but his fans are the young audience and like that just makes it worse because to whoever wants to hear it, is such a disgusting and shameless money grab that dream and friends just know that they can get away with unharmed because of their audience this review may seem like low-hanging fruit but hey i just got a vent here this project is just a reminder of how easily exploitable pop culture is like seriously the dude that produced hot girl bummer should not be working with a minecraft youtuber you know you've heard me fucking go on about this for so long already i don't understand how dream expects us to like think this is a serious venture for him whenever like he got young gravy as the only feature on this project like you do not get young gravy to feature on your debut project if you care about music i could be the one to take you home late nights staring at your phone Rom-Com is the debut album from YouTuber, comedian, and musician Jakey, also known as Nakey Jakey. Rom-Com is an 8-track, 28-minute album which is entirely produced and recorded by Jakey. This release was originally announced in December of 2021 with a release of his first single for this project, Pine Barrens, but was ultimately pushed back further for release until November 18th of 2022. This project's subject matter revolves around where Jakey was in life at the time of writing the song, which is very noticeable in the intro track, Drive Off a Bridge, where Jakey hauntingly writes to his loved ones as if he was going to die in the first verse, and addressing his problems with depression in the second verse. All throughout the rollout of this album, the phrase based on a true story is plastered on the promo and in the center of the album's track list. To me, this implies that throughout the album's runtime, he is blurring the lines of reality and fiction by viewing his life as a rom-com. This first album from Jakey leaves a lot to be desired from me sonically, like I'm just like not a fan really of any of the songs? Not not my vibe, I guess you could say, but I, I do get the appeal for his patient fans so like i get it I, I can tell he has a real passion for music especially with the whole project being self-produced so i definitely am really excited to see where his future projects take him but yeah that was the good bad and mid uh youtuber edition and honestly i could probably do a part two of this so if you're interested in that just let me know in the comments below and also shout out to the third verse for collabing on this video i actually also collabed with them on a video on their channel that's actually out right now the link to it's going to be in the description below go check it out out. And uh, yeah, I don't think I really got anything else to say, so bye! <laughs>